डिसोसिएटिव दैट मीन्स तुम तीन एलिमेंट्स में से पहले दो में किसी को भी ऑपरेट कर लो इट इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी सेम दैट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ प्रियंका गोदारा मैथमेटिक्स ऑप्शनल फैकल्टी योजना आई I have done masters in mathematics and after that qualified net JRF in the same field. After that I started preparing for UPSC and then in between I have took 3 years to CSIR net students. So basically I have experience of teaching mathematics students in UGC net and now I am associated with UPSC field since a long year. Since a year Okay this is supposed to be the starting of mathematics course and in this class we are going to discuss some basics of mathematics and we will start with basics of modern algebra why i have selected modern algebra the reason behind it, this is that in last 3 to 4 years upsc has started asking question intermixing question intermixing means they are asking questions throughout the syllabus throughout the syllabus means throughout the units that means in one question only they ask ask the question from all the three units that is i will assume that you must have gone through the syllabus of upsc and the scheme of the paper the scheme says that every paper paper 1 and paper 2 of optional has been divided into two sections and each section contains Three units. Yes, yeah, section two of sec paper two. Section one of paper two contains four units. Rest every three section contains three units. So, if one question contains three parts, then the UPSC has started doing one thing that all the three parts would be from throughout the section. That is, if I do say, say for example, I am dealing with question number two of paper two. because as you all know question number 1 would be compulsory question and that is going to be throughout the sections that is okay but in question number 2 3 4 also upsc asked three questions in question number 2 that is part a part b and part c and now it is what they have done is since last 4 to 5 years they had started that question a to second question part a of second question would be from unit 1 this would be from unit 2 and this would be from unit 3 so you don't have any choice you have to do all the units and you cannot skip anything in the optional so that is why i have selected modern algebra very wisely to introduce with you because modern algebra is one of the subject if we do consider the crowd of upsc then it is believed that 70% of upsc people are from engineering background and this is not a biasness because this is the data of our educational institutes as well because most of the graduates or the percentage or proportion of graduate graduate students which are from engineering background is much higher than other backgrounds and this becomes more specified in whenever it comes to maths optional because maths optional is mostly preferred by either engineers or somebody who has base their basics or their background academic background in bsc or bsc honors for that matter ya fir masters in mathematics hai na so it would not be very biased attitude of me if i do assume that most of your students are from engineering background okay and then students from engineering background find it difficult difficult to modern algebra because whenever it comes to modern algebra then it is a subject of pure mathematics pure mathematics means a branch of mathematics not in the sense pure and any anything else this is branch of mathematics which deals with abstract mathematics and right? so abstract mathematics most of the time is not part of the engineering background students and that is why they lacks familiarity here and most of the time i see that they have kind of fear with this topic that it is going to be a very hard topic 
so i have started with modern algebra since we don't have choices so why not target the toughest parts the first time hai right? na that is eating the frog early in the morning that is the saying they the people says if you have to that is means if you have to do to some some tough task then rather than doing it throughout the day finish it in the early half of the day and that is why i have started with this topic so that you can have one familiarity with the topic and you can do away with or you can done away with your fears that it is a difficult part no it is not difficult it requires some amount of visualization but this is pr- pretty much manageable and that is why we will start with modern algebra but before starting with modern algebra what we should know that there are some of the definitions definitions means basics of modern algebra says that you should know what is binary operation what is operation operation means you are operating something and when it comes to mathematics then we are obviously operating on numbers right so if you do a mathematical operation then there is something called binary operation and most of you people must have heard about binary binary means something that has to do with two things two things and in your maths it may be two numbers or two elements pardon me for my voice because this is cold time and i was having cough throughout last week so this is this way only but we will deal with it okay of oh, binary operation what is binary operation binary operation says that if you have if g is any non empty set and star is star is the notation star is any operation such that for any for any two elements any two elements say say a and b of g i had already assumed that g is non empty if g is non empty that means it must be having some of the no, some of the elements then i have assumed that there are two elements a and b and then star is any operation says that for any two elements a and b belonging to g if we do operate these two elements with your star operation a star b then a star b should be also an element of g then we will say then then star is n binary a binary operation defined on therefore whenever you start with any two elements of g and if you operate this by any other operation say star in this case then their resulted element that is a star b a star b would be one of the element na and if this element again belong to the same set then we will say this operation is binary on g and that is the definite definition of binary operation that is whenever you deal with whenever you operate any two elements of a group g and it is equipped with some binary operation star then the resultant element a star b would also be an element of the group itself g or set you can say for that matter this is not group yet then next definition comes about algebraic structure algebraic structure what does a structure means <coughs> sorry whenever it comes to structure structure means framework of something briefing of something or in hindi mein bole to dhancha कि किस टाइप का क्या ढांचा होगा क्या फ्रेमवर्क होगा या फिर मॉड्यूलिटी मॉड्यूलिटीज और मॉड्यूल ऑफ समथिंग दैट इज द स्ट्रक्चर 
but when it comes to specific about algebra then what does that means algebra is related to something when it comes to number elements that is algebra of something or algebra means you are dealing with the operations algebra of mathematics means you have to deal with element us pe kaun se kaun se operation you can operate that is the algebra algebra of something properties and these and these things you must have heard now so algebra of something means you have to find out kaun se kaun se operation you can operate on that thing jo bhi tumhe diya hai number hai koi element hai sets hai sab pe algebra ka matlab unki properties you need to define so algebraic structure kya hota hai ek a non empty set g if you deal with a non empty set this is again non empty g equipped with e q u i double p a d equipped with a binary operation binary operation we have defined in the last slide only session star is known as algebraic structure so this is written as g comma star this is the algebraic structure that is this was a non empty set and this is the operation and you have to perform the operation on this this operation operator star then this together this algebraic structure g star together is known as algebraic structure and we will perform some of the properties and we will define that this algebraic structure after satisfying some of the properties can be made group this can be made some ring or this can be converted into field if you we take another some binary operation wahan pe do operation we required definitely or vector space so every we start with every algebraic structure and base basing basis on the which properties it satisfies hum usko different different categories mein categorize kar dete hain maan lo ki ek set ki properties satisfy karta hai to usko keh denge this is the group fir koi aur properties ka set hai sat aat properties hai agar unko satisfy karta hai to us algebraic structure ko hum keh denge this becomes a vector space aur fir kuch aur set ki properties ko satisfy karta hai to usko hum hum keh denge कि दिस एल्जेब्राइक स्ट्रक्चर बिकम्स फील्ड तो वी स्टार्ट विद बेसिक्स एंड बेसिक्स इज एल्जेब्राइक स्ट्रक्चर अगर ये स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिफिक प्रॉपर्टीज सेटिस्फाई करता जाएगा तो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दैट ये कभी ग्रुप बन जाएगा कभी इंटीग्रल डोमेन बन जाएगा कभी रिंग्स बन जाएगा तो कभी फील्ड बन जाएगा बट इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस विद द ग्रुप सो वी विल डील विद कि ग्रुप के लिए कौन सी कौन सी प्रॉपर्टीज सेटिस्फाई होनी चाहिए सो लेट स्टार्ट विद ग्रुप so for group what will we do let g star b any algebraic structure structure where g is non empty because if it is g it is algebraic structure then it is going to be non empty and if it is non empty then this then g star would be a group if it satisfies following properties and what are the properties the properties are first one closure you might not be knowing what is closure then what is closure closure means let me tell you if closure says that if a and b belongs to g this is the symbol of belongs to g that means they are element of g then a 
A star B should also be an element of G for all A B coming from G. That means for all A B coming from G, their operated elements should also be again element of the group, which not group the set which you have discussed. This would be group after satisfying four properties. So what are the four properties? First one we have defined that this should be there should be closure. That is, if you do operate any two element, the resultant element should be again the element of the group. Second property is associativity. And what does associativity means? For all, that means this is the symbol of for all. That means for all elements of A, B, C, for all A, B, C coming from G, a star B, if we do operate A star B first and then do operate with C, this should be equal to A star keeping aside and first operating B and C star together. And then resultant elements should be operated with A. So, tum koi bhi order follow karlo, this is always going to be same. That means your set is associative. That means, tum teen elements mein se pehle do mein kisi ko bhi operate karlo. It is always going to be same. That is the property of associativity. Third property says that there must be existence of identity. Identity. What does that mean? This means for all A belonging to G, there must exist, this is the symbol of there must exist E belonging to G such that if you operate your any element with E, the result should be the same element. Doesn't matter, A star E likh rahe ho ya E star A likh rahe ho. Whenever you do operate koi G ka koi bhi element hai, usko identity ke saath operate kar rahe ho. So result tumara same element aana chahiye. That means this is the identity. Then there should be fourth property is there should be existence of inverse. Inverse. What is the meaning of this? It says that for all A belonging to G, there must exist some B belonging to G such that whenever you do operate A and B together the result should be identity or B star A यही में तो लब हुआ ना कि हर एक तुम्हारे A के लिए कोई ना कोई B ऐसा exist करना चाहिए if you operate A और B को together then you should get the identity element of the group and if any algebraic structure satisfies these four properties that is first one is closer second one is associativity third one is existence of identity and fourth one is existence of inverse then we will say this algebraic structure would be nothing but a group so this is the group so four properties are closure associativity there should be identity there should be inverse for all the element and hence it is a group so after discussing the definition let's discuss some specific specific property of a group or specific type of a group the specific type which is more commonly discussed is abelian group abelian kya hota hai abelian group abelian group is also a special type of group but this satisfies one more extra property चार प्रॉपर्टी तो ग्रुप की ऑब्वियसली सेटिस्फाई करनी ही पड़ेंगी बिकॉज दिस इज ए ग्रुप सो एविलियन में स्पेसिफिक क्या है एविलियन में स्पेसिफिक ये है कि इसमें एक एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉपर्टी होनी चाहिए एंड देन एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉपर्टी इज ग्रुप की चार प्लस कॉम्यूटेटिविटी कॉम्यूटेटिविटी वट डज दैट मीन्स कॉम्यूटेटिविटी सी इज दैट फॉर ऑल ए बी ब्लो A कोमा बी बिलोंगिंग टू G, A और B G के कोई भी दो एलिमेंट ले लो चाहे तुम A स्टार B करो चाहे तुम B स्टार A करो रिजल्ट हमेशा सेम आना चाहिए दैट इज 
a star b should be equal to b star a and if this happens for all the elements of g then it would be a commutative group aur commutative group ko hi hum kya bolte hain abelian group theek hai then there are some of the other terminologies one is finite group फाइनाइट ग्रुप क्या होता है फाइनाइट मीन इट हैज टू डू हैज टू डू समथिंग विद फाइनाइट थिंग्स ना सो फाइनाइट ग्रुप मीन्स इट डील्स विद द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द ग्रुप कि उसमें कितने नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स हैं इफ नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन ए ग्रुप इफ नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन ए ग्रुप इज फाइनाइट then the group is finite group okay and then next term comes order of a group order of a group what does that means This is specific term for number of elements in the group. कि जितने number of elements हैं group में वो उतने ही order का group हो जाएगा So order of a group is nothing but number of elements in the group. अगर तुम उनको गिन सकते हो तो कह देंगे कि this this much is the order of the group. Or if we cannot count them, then we will say the order of the group is इनफाइनाइट सो दैट वुड बी इनफाइनाइट ग्रुप नेक्स्ट थिंग अब इतना करने के बाद वी शुड हैव सम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल ना सो लेट्स डील विद वन क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस्ट बाई यू पी एस सी एंड लेट मी राइट दैट वी विल प्रूव दैट दिस बिकम्स ए ग्रुप और नॉट ओके दिस इज पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ यू पी एस सी शो दैट the set of integer integers that is z isse likhte hain inko is an abelian group with respect to बाइनरी ऑपरेशन स्टार स्टार वेर स्टार इज डिफाइंड एज डिफाइंड एज कैसे डिफाइन किया है ए स्टार बी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी प्लस वन और ऑल ए कॉमा बी बिलोंगिंग टू Chat. So what we need to do, we need to prove that this is a group, right? How would you prove that this is a group? अभी अभी हमने किया कर क्या कहा कि if it is a group, पहले तो group ही prove करना है ऐसे दिखाना तो abelian group है. So first we will show that this is group. After that we will show that this is abelian group. But how would you show group that this is a group? So we require four properties. What are the four properties? first one is closer second one is associativity third one is existence of identity and fourth one says that it there should be inverse for every element so first one we will start with or solution you can say because this is the question so first we will show closer for closer what we require closer ke liye hamara kya hota hai we will take two element of the group और ऑपरेशन लगाने के बाद वो के एलिमेंट जो है वो ग्रुप का ही एलिमेंट होना चाहिए है ना सो लेट ए भी तो उन्होंने ऑलरेडी लिया है लेट ए वन कोमा बी वन बिलोंग्स टू जी बी टू एलिमेंट्स हम ले सकते हैं इफ ए वन बी वन जी के एलिमेंट है तो आफ्टर अप्लाइंग क्या है ए एंड बी ए और बी क्या हो जाएंगे ए वन बी इंटीजर होगा बी वन क्या होगा इंटीजर होगा और ये इसमें होने के लिए 
इंटीजर होना चाहिए तभी क्लोजर होगा बिकॉज दिस इज द सेट ऑफ इंटीजर्स देन ए वन स्टार बी वन क्या हो जाएगा हाउ इट इज डिफाइंड ये कहता है कि दोनों को एड करो और उसमें एक एड कर दो तो आर रिजल्ट वुड बी ए वन प्लस बी वन प्लस वन नाउ ए वन वॉज इंटीजर बी वन वॉज इंटीजर इंटीजर में इंटीजर एड कर देते हैं तो वो इंटीजर रहता है और उसमें एक बार वन और भी एड कर देंगे तो फिर भी ये क्या हो जाएगा इंटीजर ही बचेगा सो देर फोर ए वन बी वन हमने जी से लिए थे और वो इंटीजर एलिमेंट आ रहा है इंटीजर आ रहा है तो तुम्हारा जी क्या था जी ही तो जेड था सेट ऑफ इंटीजर जेड बोला है ना उसने सो दिस बिलोंग्स टू जेड एंड हेंस जेड इज क्लोज अंडर स्टार ऑपरेशन सो क्लोजर का मतलब क्लोज अंडर स्टार सेकेंड वन वी नीड टू शो एसोसिएटिविटी दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी सेकेंड वन इज एसोसिएटिविटी ओके फॉर एसोसिएटिविटी वट वी रिक्वायर वी रिक्वायर थ्री एलिमेंट्स लास्ट में हमने किया था इन द फर्स्ट स्लाइड ओनली दैट इज यहाँ से हम तीन एलिमेंट्स लेंगे जी के और क्या दिखा देंगे ए स्टार बी स्टार सी शुड बी इक्वल टू ए स्टार बी इन ब्रैकेट बी स्टार सी सो फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट बाय टेकिंग थ्री एलिमेंट सो लेट ए वन बी वन सी वन क्या है थ्री एलिमेंट्स ऑफ जी और जी कुछ नहीं है इंटीजर्स का ही सेट है सो वी विल शो टू शो हमें क्या शो करना है ए स्टार बी स्टार सी ए वन बी वन सी वन है तो इनको भी ए वन बी वन सी वन ले लो दिस शुड बी ए वन स्टार बी वन स्टार सी वन ये होना चाहिए सो लेट्स कंसीडर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड क्या है ए वन स्टार बी वन स्टार सी वन दैट मीन्स फर्स्ट वी विल ऑपरेट ए वन एंड बी वन देन वी विल ऑपरेट द रिजल्ट विथ सी वन ए वन और बी वन पे ऑपरेशन कैसे लगाना होता है कि पहले दोनों को ऐड करो और फिर उसमें वन ऐड कर दो तो दिस वुड बी ए वन प्लस बी वन प्लस वन एंड देन यू हैव टू ऑपरेट दिस विथ सी वन एंड अब सी वन से ऑपरेट करेंगे तो दिस इज ट्रीटेड एज वन एलिमेंट तो ये ऑपरेशन कैसे लगेगा दोनों को ऐड करो और फिर वन ऐड कर दो तो दिस वुड बी ए वन प्लस बी वन प्लस वन प्लस सी वन एंड देन प्लस वन सो रिजल्ट वुड बी ए वन प्लस बी वन प्लस सी वन प्लस टू हो जाएगा वन प्लस वन टू दिस वॉज अवर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो हाउ वुड यू फाइंड आउट राइट हैंड साइड Let me use this side of the blackboard. Right hand side. Now we will consider a star. Sorry, this was a one. A one star, b one star, c one. So first we will operate b one and c one. So keep a one as it is, and then do operation on this. So it would, the result would be sum of these two numbers plus one. so this is the answer and after that we have to operate the resultant element with a1 so add both of them and a add extra 1 plus 1 because this was the definition na so the result would be a1 plus b1 plus c1 plus 2 this was also the left hand side so this is equal to left hand side and hence associativity holds सो एसोसिएटिविटी भी होल्ड करती है थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी वट वी रिक्वायर टू प्रूव इज एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ आइडेंटिटी थर्ड इज एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ आइडेंटिटी हाउ वुड यू शो दैट देयर आइडेंटिटी एग्जिस्ट वी विल अज्यूम दैट लेट ई इज द आइडेंटिटी और इन द फाइनल We will show that this E belongs to our group. और अपना group क्या है Z है integer है अगर कोई E integer number आ जाता है तो we will say कि हाँ ऐसी identity तो हमारे group में exist करती है तो let E belongs to let E be identity of the group. Identity 
of group if this is the identity of group then kya hoga for all a belonging to g kya aana chahiye a star e jab bhi operate karo tumhare paas a hi aana chahiye because identity means you are adding something to a number adding or operating with a number with something that resultant would be the element itself so humne wahi kiya a ko e ke sath operate kiya aur result fir se a la diya so that means e is working as identity but in actual sense what was the meaning of star operation star was defined defined as ki tumhe dono elements ko add karna hai aur extra one add kar dena hai so this would be a plus e plus 1 and that would be equal to a then you need to find out the value of e ab kya karoge yahan se e kya ho jayega e is equal to a minus 1 minus a and a se a would be cancelled out because a is integer aur integer mein minus a bhi hota hai to ye cancel ho jayega aur e ke pass e kya bach jayega minus 1 so hame identity chahiye thi aur minus 1 integer hota hai ya nahi hota hai obviously minus 1 integer hota hai to r e belongs to z that that is r group g and hence there exists the identity existence dikhani thi na ये ऐसी आइडेंटिटी हमारे ग्रुप में एग्जिस्ट करती है सो दिस वाज द एग्जिस्टेंस एंड फोर्थ इज एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ इनवर्स सो हाउ वुड यू प्रूव वी विल अज्यूम दैट बी इज द इनवर्स ऑफ ए मान लेंगे कि बी ए का इनवर्स है और फिर दिखा देंगे बी हमारे ग्रुप में बिलोंग करता है जैसे हमने आइडेंटिटी को दिखाया तो लेट बी बिलोंग बी बी इनवर्स ऑफ एनी एलिमेंट ए इनवर्स ऑफ एन एलिमेंट ए बिलोंगिंग टू जी ए कोई एलिमेंट है जी का जी इज इक्वल टू जेड है अगर कंफ्यूजन हो तो बार बार लिख लिया करो और हमने मान लिया कि उसका इनवर्स बी है अगर इसका इनवर्स बी है तो क्या होगा कि ए और बी को जब तुम ऑपरेट एक साथ करोगे तो दैट शुड बी द रिजल्ट शुड बी आइडेंटिटी दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट ए स्टार बी शुड बी इक्वल टू आइडेंटिटी ना हाँ और इस साइड ए स्टार बी का मतलब क्या होता है दोनों को ऐड करो एक वन ऐड कर दो पर आइडेंटिटी कौन से वाले जो हमने ग्रुप की दिखाई थी तो आइडेंटिटी ऊपर हम निकाल चुके हैं वो क्या है माइनस वन बिकॉज ई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन इन स्टेप थ्री स्टेप थ्री स्टेप थ्री में हमने आइडेंटिटी निकाला तो है दिस एम्प्लाइज यहाँ से क्या हो जाएगा बी वुड बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू माइनस ए और ये क्या है ए इंटीजर था टू इंटीजर है तो इंटीजर में से इंटीजर सब होगा तो भी इंटीजर आएगा फॉर दिस बिलोंग्स टू जेड एंड इफ इट बिलोंग्स टू जेड दैट मींस जो हमने इनवर्स लिया था वो अपने ग्रुप जी में चला गया और दैट मींस और कोई भी ए ले लो उसके लिए हमेशा इनवर्स एग्जिस्ट करेगा एंड हेंस वी हैव शोन द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ इनवर्स बट ये तो चार प्रॉपर्टी हुई है तुम्हारी ग्रुप की दिखाना क्या था एबिलियन दिखाना है एबिलियन दिखाने का मतलब ए स्टार एक एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉपर्टी चाहिए और वो एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉपर्टी क्या है फिफ्थ वन दैट शुड बी कॉम्यूटेटिविटी और इसके लिए व्हाट यू नीड टू शो यू नीड टू शो दैट ए स्टार बी शुड बी इक्वल टू बी स्टार ए फॉर ऑल दिस इज टू शो ए कॉमा बी बिलोंगिंग टू जी तो कैसे शो करेंगे लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ले लो लेट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज ए स्टार बी एंड वट इट वुड बी दोनों को एड करो प्लस वन एक्स्ट्रा एड कर दो द आंसर इज ए प्लस बी प्लस वन एंड राइट हैंड साइड क्या होगा बी स्टार ए वो क्या होगा दोनों का एड बी प्लस ए प्लस वन अरे ए और बी तो इंटीजर है इंटीजर कॉम्पिटेटिव होते हैं ए वन प्लस थ्री करो या थ्री प्लस वन करो आंसर तो हमेशा चार आता है ना तो यहाँ से इसको वी कैन राइट ए प्लस बी प्लस वन एंड देर फोर दिस इज इक्वल टू 
a star b and hence left hand side is equal to and therefore the group satisfies the properties of commutativity as well therefore the group given group is abelian and this is how we can deal with the past year question of upsc and this was the starting of our modern algebra in the next lecture we will do some other concepts and definition and then we will replicate their results and definitions in their applications okay, how to solve the questions okay see you in the next lecture thank you